So today we are talking about five reasons why you may be unhappy. What's going on guys, it's Marcus here with Discover Ignite where we discover possibilities and ignite change. And in this video we are talking about five reasons why you can be unhappy. And to actually help me with this, I actually found this post on Huffington Post that I am going to be linking down in the description so you guys can follow along. And I want to give you guys a little bit of advice on my opinion on what these things, how they've affected my life and what I have actually done to help improve my life and make my life a happier life. So the first thing that you can actually see is that they say that you should not be working a job that you hate. Now this is one of those things that I do believe, right? I don't think you should be working a job at all. And I think since we spend so much majority of our life in a job, if you are working a job you hate, this can lead to a lot of your unhappiness. But I also come with the other advice and opinion that you shouldn't just quit your job, right? I think you should have a plan. If you are finding that you aren't actually enjoying your life, if you feel that your life is, you're carrying it over to your personal life, in that life is just miserable that you wake up on you know Monday morning and you dread going to work then I think you really need to make a change in your life right you need to change your environment to help you become a more happier individual and the best way to actually do this is to set that plan up right find another job go interview on the side and find a job that will help improve your life find a job that will help improve your life and this will take some time right sometimes you may go interview and you may realize that that job that you interviewed for isn't any better than the current job you have but the good thing is is that you already have a job so you can continue to look until you find a good match right an improvement and at that point then you could move forward and you realize that changing your environment makes a dramatic change in your life and can make you an incredibly happier person now number two to this signs of being unhappy is being in a toxic relationship and I have been in a couple of relationships that were extremely toxic so much so that it was hard to even go home and as you can imagine you might be actually dealing with this yourself and you can relate to how bad a toxic relationship can be and how much energy and just how unhappy you can be in life by having that toxic relationship and again relating even back to the job is the same kind of way it all comes down to your environment especially with that person close you are going home to essentially spend that time with another individual and if that person is very negative if that person you know doesn't really see things the same way you do right you there may be a time where you did but now you didn't and then things change right and for whatever reason that relationship is turned toxic and you realize that by putting yourself in that situation it tends to make everything worse now maybe you know going back to the first one maybe you actually do have a fantastic job but you have that relationship that's extremely toxic and that can bleed into your job it can bleed into other avenues of your life and you realize that you are kind of just going through the motions when in fact you should just really get rid of that toxic relationship from the start. So the third one we got on this list is getting rid of negativity. And there's a lot of different avenues you can take here. But for me, I think some of the biggest things that I've seen when it comes to getting rid of negativity in your life, it goes back to your environment. What in your environment can you change? What in your environment is essentially bleeding over into everything else? Maybe it's your work. Maybe it's a relationship. Maybe it's just your news outlets. Maybe it's your social media feeds. What in your life is actually causing you to become so negative, becoming unhappy. And a lot of times we could even be watching a simple program on TV that is filled with drama, that's filled with all these different things. And if that's what we're constantly feeding our brain, I think that can essentially become our life. Our life becomes what we absorb. It's the same way when you eat, right? If you eat tons of different bad, unhealthy things, you will gain weight, you will be unhealthy. It's the same kind of thing for your mind. If you are feeding it, you know, negative input, and this can just be not only be, you know, social media, the news, you know, whatever from some outside element, it can also be the way that you're talking to yourself. And that's 100% it. If you are constantly, you know, putting yourself down, not allowing yourself to 
to get ahead or give yourself the chance because you feel like you're going to fail, that can be a, a real drain on your happiness by this negative cycle that you're playing back to yourself. So I do believe this is a very good one in the fact that you should eliminate as much negativity in your life as possible. And by actually doing that, you need to probably audit your life and find out what it is exactly that is causing you to live such an unhappy life. Now the next one is letting doubt and fear stop you from getting ahead in life. And this is a big one that I totally agree with. I've actually talked about this on my channel channel a couple different times because I think a lot of times we we don't really want to be uncomfortable. We essentially create an environment. Now this is just a natural thing that we do. We create an environment which we're safe and which we're comfortable and that's where we like to stay. And and naturally we like to stay there and to try to go out and you know change our lives for the better whatever that's you know creating a book or if that's starting a business or starting a new relationship there's a bunch of other different things that can come into play but a lot of times that fear will hold us back and we realize that if we could just get over the hump of that fear that we can actually introduce new things into our lives that we you know typically might not actually think before that we would actually enjoy and then introduce you know happiness into our life by experiencing new things and you realize that i've always talked about changing your perspective and this is one of the biggest things is getting over that fear whether it's the fear of asking out the guy or girl or that fear of of starting something new starting a new lifestyle or starting you know to create a YouTube channel, right? And thinking that people are going to judge you because of that, when in fact you are just trying to get ahead and you realize but by conquering that fear and just taking those couple extra steps, right? When you are contemplating and not doing it, right? Because that little voice clicks on the back of your head, you just go ahead and do it. And then when you do that, you realize that you start becoming more fulfilled. You start becoming happier because you are conquering that fear. And for a lot of people, fear you know, can lead to anxiety and a lot of other different things. So you want to take it with a grain of salt, right? Take it at your own pace. Do the smaller things first. And then once you start building up you know, that confidence in yourself, then you can start taking those bigger leaps to become more fulfilled and be a happier person. The last one we have on this list is putting off the hard things for another day and this is one of those things that I used to be a huge procrastinator right I used to just keep putting it off putting it off and it essentially came down to the point to where it would it was do the do or die right I had to do it right then and there and that's when I would do it and a lot of times I didn't want to have any uh, confrontation with anybody or anything so I battled that a lot with myself and it wasn't until I actually just took charge and just did it and was done with it that I realized that hey I'm actually able to conquer more get over that fear get over the pushing it off, the procrastination, and just getting it done that I can get so much more done in a smaller amount of time than I ever could have thought possible. And it's by doing this that you start realizing that you become you know, more successful and you realize that you can do more than you thought possible. And that in itself is a huge confidence booster that can lead to your happiness and being a more happier, fulfilled person by you know, just getting it done and stop worrying about all the bad things that can actually go on in life when in fact you just worry about what is the possibility and focus on that because if you can focus on the possibility that is so much more weight and gold right the ratio of what you're thinking in your head of what horribly bad thing can go on to what actually the good outcome of what could come of all of it is what you need to focus on because that good is way better than the bad and a lot of times that bad isn't even nowhere near as bad as it would be if you did possibly even fail but the thing is is you're not going to know until you try and quit procrastinating on stuff and just start doing it and you realize that you build that confidence up you start becoming a happier person and you start tackling those things that you never thought possible so remember if you do enjoy this video to hit the like button on your way out till next time i will see you guys later